In this tutorial, we will learn how to make a sound loop in ADX2. We will explain three ways to make a sound loop in AtomCraft, by looping the waveform itself, by using blocks, and by using markers. Let's see the first method, looping the waveform itself. If you only want to loop a single waveform, the easiest way to do it is by using the embedded looping information or by overriding it at the material level. Indeed, if your source audio files already have embedded looping points, AtomCraft will automatically recognize them and play the sounds as loops. However, you also have the possibility to modify the looping points or to deactivate the looping function altogether. First, go to the Materials pane and click on the waveform to see its properties. Under File Info, you can see the loop type of your audio file. Depending on your file, it will either be loop or one shot. Here, this audio file is recognized as a loop. And this one is a one shot sound. To override the loop information, go to the Reloop section in the Materials Property pane and set the Reloop Enable flag to True. You are now able to activate or deactivate the loop. You can see it change at the top of the screen. You can also adjust the loop points if needed. Simply enter the new start and end times here. The green section corresponds to the looping region. A looping sound will have its repetitions visible on the timeline while the waveform of a one-shot sound will only be displayed once like this. The second method is to loop using blocks. In AtomCraft, it is possible to loop a sound using a sound block. First, right-click on the cue in the timeline. Select New Object and then click on Create Block. A block will appear at the top of the timeline. Click on the block. On the right of the screen, the block property pane appears. Enter minus one infinite loop for the block playback loop number. Our queue is now a looping queue. Sound blocks are especially useful for interactive music tracks, as we will see in a future tutorial. However, they also allow the implementation of complex behaviors for sound effects. Finally, a third method to loop sounds is to use markers. Let's remove this sound block first. Now, right-click on the timeline above your clip. Select New Object and then click on Add Marker. The Add Marker window opens. If you want, you can name your marker. You can also set the start and end positions. We want an infinite loop, so let's select it here. Finally, click OK. We now have two green markers on our timeline. However, the loop's endpoint is not at the very end of the clip. You can move the markers to fine tune your looping points. This is an infinite loop. This is the loop start, and this is the loop end. Let's hear the result. With this method, you have full control over your loop and you can have an intro, looping section and outro. This loop is also at the queue level, which means that you can loop several tracks simultaneously. This concludes our tutorial about looping sounds in AtomCraft.